guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on the look that I'm wearing right here. So this is a fun spring inspired makeup look with a pop of colour in the eyeliner. I've been meaning to film this tutorial for ages because it just seemed like so much fun and it really was so much fun filming this for you guys. So if you want to see how to achieve this spring inspired look then just keep on watching. Okay so as you guys can see I already have my base and my eyebrows on and that's because usually my videos are pretty super duper long and so to keep this nice and short and simple for you guys I thought that I would have this already applied. Of course I will link all of the products that I've used down below, I will also link my flawless foundation routine and of course my how to sculpt eyebrow routine in case you guys want to check it out. Because I'm going for a nice bright liner I thought I'd keep all of the eyeshadow pretty simple so I'm going to take it from the Makeup Revolution Fortune Favours the Brave palette. This is the new palette from Makeup Revolution in collaboration with British Beauty Blogger. I've recently done a first impression and makeup tutorial on it so again I will link that video down below and I'll also link my blog post where you can see swatches of the entire palette. Okay, so I'm going to start by blending this shade here all the way through my crease on a Zoeva 228 crease brush. And I'm just going to blend that all the way from inner to outer corner. As I said, I don't want anything too complicated or fancy, I just want to add some definition. Next, I'm just going to take this shade right here, I'm going to use it all over my lid and apply that using a shader brush. So I'm just applying that shade all the way from inner to outer corner, all the way across my lid, and of course you can change the shade out for whatever shade you like. Next, I'm going back in with that 2 to 8 brush just to blend out any harsh lines. To smoke out my lower lash line slightly, I'm going to go in with a pencil brush just using a small amount of the shade we use in our crease. And that is the eyeshadow pretty much complete. Okay, so next is the fun part, which is the coloured liner. So a few weeks ago, Miss Sporty brought out a few new shades of eyeliner, and this is called Arty Blue Spring, and then this one is called Turquoise. I saw these and just really, really liked the colours of them and thought they would be fantastic for like a spring liner inspired makeup tutorial. And it's also really good for me as well because the Miss Sporty original black liquid liner is the only sort of liquid liner that I like. I'm not used to liquid liners, I prefer using pens, but the Miss Sporty one is the only liquid one that I actually do like. So I saw these and I had to pick them up, but I'm not sure which one to use. Obviously from the intro of this video you guys already know the liner that I'm going to use, but if you want to use the one that I didn't use, comment down below and I'll incorporate that into another makeup tutorial. So those are the two colours right there. They're both absolutely gorgeous. I think I'm kind of leaning towards the blue one, so I think I'm going to use that one. They are slightly more um, watery and sheer than the original Miss Sporty liner, but they're not too bad, and I'll just go over with a second coat if I need to. Okie dokie then, so I have decided to use the 001 Arty Blue Spring liner. It's such a beautiful colour for spring, so I can't wait to try it out. So I'm just going to tuck my hair out of the way. By the way, I am wearing my Foxy Locks extensions today. I'll link below my first impression and review of those. And I'll also link below my how to apply hair extensions, which is really, really great for if you have thin or fine hair. So I'm going to start by drawing my wing first. I'm going to take that right from the outer corner of my eye and draw upwards towards my eyebrow. And then I'm just going to move to the inner corner of my eye and draw a line all along my upper lash line. The nib on these eyeliners are really, really flexible and they're nice and thin, so you can go really, really thin on the inner corner. And it's also really easy to get a nice line because they do bend slightly, so you don't have to worry about kind of like a thick, chunky line. As you can see, it's not super, super sheer, but I probably will go back over with a second coat just to make the colour really pop. So next, I'm just going to finish off that line by drawing from the top of the wing and connecting it to the line across my upper lash line. Okay, and there we have the wing on the eye. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do the second eye, and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to go over with a second layer. Okay, so that is what the liner looks like after two coats. It's really super pretty. I hope the camera is picking up how like bright and colourful it is, because it really, really is. This liner does dry matte as well, so it is a slightly drier formula than other um, liquid eyeliners. But it's not too drying, so it's not cracking or anything like that. It is just slightly on the drier side. So next I'm going to apply some mascara and I'm actually going to be really high maintenance and use two mascaras today. The first one that I'm going to use is the Revlon Ultima All-in-One Mascara and then on top of that I'm going to use the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. So what I've been doing recently is going in with the Revlon Mascara first and that's just because it's really good for kind of separating out my lashes. And then just before that one dries I go in with the Essence Lash Princess Mascara and this one's really good for adding volume and building up length. But once it's open, it does go clumpy quite quickly, so I find that I need to use the regular one first just to separate them, and then I can go in with that volume. And then I'm just going to apply that to my lower lash line as well. Next, I'm just going to go in with some really, really natural falsies. I believe these are Tanya Burr eyelashes. I think they're called, like, the, the Date Night or the Girls' Night Out or something like that. 
Typically, I wouldn't wear some false lashes on a day-to-day -day basis, but I thought for this look, I might just add some nice natural ones just for a bit of an extra flair. Okay, so to finish off the eyes, I'm going to go in with this bright white shade here on a pencil brush. I'm just going to take that on my inner corner and also underneath my brow bone. Next, I'm just brightening up my eyes a little bit more using a flesh coloured pencil, and this is the Rimmel Scandalize Waterproof Cold Cajal Eyeliner in the shade Nude. And that is the eye look complete. So, moving on to the face, I am going to contour using the Makeup Revolution Ultra Contour Palette. And I'm going to use this shade here on a Luxie 504 angled brush. For blush, I'm going to use this Amit Makeup Artist Colour Powder Blush in the shade 108 on a Real Techniques blush brush. And for highlighter, I'm going to use the Gush Lumi Drops in the shade Vanilla. And then finally, to bring this entire look together, I'm going to go in with a Rimmel Colour Rush Lip Crayon in the shade Keep Morving. And that, my friends, is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up to let me know that you guys want some more spring-inspired makeup tutorials. Please subscribe to my channel if you aren't already to see more videos from me. I will leave a clickable link up here at the top of your screen that you can click on that will take you to my channel page. Or, of course, you can click on that big red button below to subscribe to me. I'm nearly at a 1,000 subscribers, which is crazy. I never thought I would get that many subscribers at all. So I really, really hope that I can get 1,000 subscribers by the end of this month. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.